TKC 80s are all on. Okay, so we're all loaded up. Uh, fair bit, obviously, it just takes up a lot of space because what you take for one night, you take for one week, two weeks, basically. Uh, especially, I'm thinking about heading out still. New tyres, so they need to be scrubbed in a bit, but I've got some dirt roads for a fair bit I can go along and I'm just going to take it nice and slow. Um, might wait another hour or two because this should clear up. It should be a nice evening and overnight, just that it's um, raining and wet right now, and about 12 degrees. The temperature doesn't worry me, I just don't want to be wet the whole time. So she's now later. And the sun's peeking through now, no actual rain, which is nice. So we'll head off in a tick. So we'll head down. We're only a couple of minutes from home. Bike's going good, everything feels good. Just stopped here, look at that for a view. So we're heading way out that way. Somewhere, I think, out King Lake Way. Um, it's looking beautiful, girls here. So, um, so far the bike feels good. Um, feels great actually, because I just come the gravel road I normally do, it's a bit wetter that sort of gravel and everything feels good I just want to get on a bit more dirt I can, I can before I hit road because they're brand new tyres I just want to scrub off any chemicals and all that sort of stuff on there um, so I'll check back in as I get towards the camp point these inquisitive beautiful guys hello hello you're easily scared though aren't you gorgeous alright we'll hit the road Okay, doing this little video then to update where we are, I just noticed I've lost my chain tensioner. Um, now fortunately, obviously this is torqued right up. It doesn't look like it's moved compared to the other side with the, if you had the plate and the two nuts and all that sort of stuff. I've got some spare parts with me. Um, so I'll see if I can fashion up, I will be able to fashion up something with a decent washer or something and a couple of nuts. I've probably got nuts that size with me. But that's a part left of order. So rookie error for me. Obviously putting the tire back on, you don't touch them, putting the wheels back on. But I probably should have then just checked they were still tight and cinched compared to how far I had pushed in the tire. So the wheel tire feels fine, because I'm I'm 99 percent sure it wouldn't have come out of adjustment because I've talked it up so much. Like it's you know, it's there to there when you want to change it and adjust the chain. So everything feels fine. So it's just a matter of um job when I get to camp and then order a part. Okay, take two to find a campground, because I ain't trying to get off that. It doesn't look like much, but I'm a complete amateur and that is just caked on mud. And even just here, it's just bad. So I'm just gonna stack. So I'm gonna go find a nicer, more comfortable campground. Um, worst case, can't find anything nice on flat tracks, so I'll head home and camp on my 10 acres, but it's been a nice ride, but I'm heading back down this way now. Okay, so we're in Mount Disappointment National Park. Uh, I went and checked out Blair's hut, but it had a few um, you know, young boys there with their four-wheel drives and look like they're in for a big night, so I've headed off. Um, this is slippery as a clay, hard to tell, but it's slick, but I'm really happy. I've hardly had too many odd feelings in the, um, with the TKC 80s on, which is nice. I'm just going to check, because down here is where I go to get to where I'm going, but I don't want to go down something I can't get back up. Especially if it gets, it does look a little bit steep, especially if it gets really wet. So just having a bit of a look, because this is the way to get to Anderson Hut while it looks. It doesn't look too bad, and it's not so clay, it's got a bit of top surface on it. So I might give it a go. Hopefully get to Anderson's camp. So I've got somewhere to camp tonight. It's only, only a K or two around here. But beautiful view. It's about 3.15, so I want to get set up soon. Okay, so behind me is Drag Hill Road. It goes up and down a few hills. Treacherous, I was scared. And now I've realized I come to a decent road, which is like 500 meters from the camp or less. So at least we're here now, so we can set up camp. Arrived at the Anderson Creek camp. Fair few people here. They don't listen to the footy tonight. So I'll show you how I'm packed. It's up the top here. Top bag, this is two tarps. Uh, wet weather gear. My coat. And we got food, clothes, eggs, cooking, fuel, first aid, temp pegs and that sort of stuff, emergency radio and some booze, 
This side's got sleeping bag and tools really, and the other side's got camp. This one's got camp chair, camp table, and sleeping uh, sleeping mat and stuff like that. Fair well, just. This is the little creek, obviously Anderson's Creek. And we are just camping in the back of here. Unfortunately, you can't get the bike in. It's all chained off, unless you're a bit dodgy and try to go around a back way and everything. There's a fair few people here, so I don't want to be a dick and just try to park my bike near me. So I just lugged everything off the bike. And we're here now. Now I just need to find a stick for my, I'm using a tarp. Um, it's a nice straight stick. I'm using a tarp as a tent, so I'll put that together. I saw a pretty cool design that the guy did on the internet, so I'll copy that and see how we go. All right, we'll have a go at this tarp tent. down my pole from my center bit and I always bring one of these like the knob off a chair leg so this can go in here so it's not going to rub a hole through your tarp so once we get this taken down a little bit to be able to fit that on there and we can have a go at putting the tarp up see if we can get it to go up already. I don't think you can do anything with a knife without nicking yourself already. Hold it too close to the blade. That will do, donkey. That will do. So you have a bit of room, do that now. The tarp done, so it's quite straightforward. Picking out the corners, doing the front. Um, I taught myself over the last few weeks, I've been meaning to know it all my life, but never did. Just taught myself the trucky hitch. So you can do a trucky hitch closed off with a half hitch. And then this is another sort of one of those ones that sort of like a trucky knot, but it's just a knot version where you just pull the one that all comes undone. But anyway, that's all done. Um, inside it's not too bad. Jim I have got another tarp that's gonna lay all my crap on and put me divvy, bivy, divvy, bivy out there. And we're all sweet. Probably in bed by seven o'clock. Okay, we're pretty set up inside now. So we've got our bivy, which is like a tent in a tent here, I guess. Keeps the critters out, which is good. And keeps me maybe a bit warmer. Then I've just got a Mountain Design 2.5R uh, value mat. Underneath that, I've got a three, uh, three mil closed cell um, tiny mat. Um, adds another 0.5R uh, value and a bit more comfort for your hips. I always get sore hips when I sleep in these sort of things. I'm just going to load the rest of the stuff in here, then we can set up some seats and a little table and think about cooking some dinner soon. So it's a beautiful evening here. All the young kids have gone to maybe into the pub for dinner, I'd say. Then maybe back out. So I'll put the radio on, listen to the footy a bit later. Not much to put in. Fortunately, no rain. I like this design. You sort of got to crawl in under it which is fine, but any rain, it's gonna sort of miss most of you, plus I'm inside and another bivy inside of it anyway. And we're not supposed to get rain, so we'll see how we go. Okay, so it's five o'clock, perfect timing, um, all done. So camp all set up, motorbikes over there, poor boy, it's okay. Um, happy with what I was able to bring away. Um, I was pretty loaded, fully loaded, I couldn't fit anything else. Uh, maybe 20 kilos of weight, but I got every, I want the comfort. So if I'm hiking, it's different. If you're on a motorbike with a mule that takes it for you, happy with an extra 900 gram chair, 900 gram table. I can cook on it, I can prep on it. Uh, it's a bit of a rundown. It's just the mountain designs, copy off the um, 
Helinox chairs, I guess, 59 bucks on special. Same with the mountain design table. Um, I'm using the just a canteen with a um, trangia to cook with, with methylated spirits. So as I said, this is just the little bento box. It's got Keens curry, pepper, salt, and a little bit of flour. If you're thickening things, it's got some um, in there, which probably leaked a little bit, is our hot chocolate, some chili, and then teas and coffees. So that works really well for that. This the canteen, the uh, mess tin, works well to hold these items as you take them away. Just a little um, El Opinel dad's knife from 1973 or 69 or 70 trip to Italy. Little Opinel knife, little wind guard holder to go on top of here, just basics for cooking. Titanium cup, and I put an extra cup inside so I can boil in one, pour into the other. Never used it since my 21st, so now I will. First time, filled up with a bit of uh, monkey shoulder to have in there. Five litre or six litre bladder, I've only got like four in it. And then all my food. So food wise, again, I wanted to come away and eat nice and be comfy. So I've got muesli bars and all that sort of stuff. Some slot, some like protein slice I made. Um, some wraps. We've got a head of broccoli. We've got some chili fava beans. I like those. We've got some protein slice I made. Then we've got an apple and a mandarin now whatever I've got a couple of eggs here and some milk so eggs in that thing um, I've then got my twig of rosemary I've got a porterhouse steak wrapped oh, I've got some butter um, porterhouse two potatoes and a porterhouse steak wrapped up in there and then below that's just muesli bars and that so we're gonna have porterhouse potatoes butter rosemary we're gonna make everyone around here jealous of the smells wafting and chuck in some broccoli. I like my broccoli crispy, so we'll chuck that in late. So yeah, peaceful, beautiful. And now we've got trackies and chef socks on. These are from Sideburn, that Sideburn magazine. Started collecting it years ago and just kept going. The radio on, tent ready, beautiful. So I'll start cooking some din din soon. So we'll have our nice porterhouse, and lots of these goodies, some nice broccoli, everything beautiful. I right, just updated camp a bit. I wanted to have this, so if it does rain, it's going to flow out, not in. If any of that rain does come in, I just put tuck stuff underneath that tarp so it runs it that way. By doing that, I've got a nice place to hang my water bladder, which works well. So I'm enjoying knowing these trucky hitches and these other knots now. So. Starting to darken off. Oh, it's nice to relax now. I'm looking forward to playing around here and cooking some food and listening to some football and just chilling out. Um, there were some sketchy parts today. So the TKC 80s, they felt really good. Um, I think they made me a lot more confident. I didn't have any uh, shit moments with them compared to the other ones on normal gravel. This was mud, slick, clay. There are a couple of spots where I did, <laughs> I didn't even need to take this road in the end. Um, it was something like Doug Hill or some sort of hill anyway, it went up and down, just slick clay. So I ended up having to just turn the motorbike off and just going down the hill. I was thinking you're trying to do front brake, rear brake as well, but using one leg to balance just wasn't right. I was sliding the back out because you're holding with one leg, just pushing the other way. So I ended up just real slow walking it, um, front brake, getting down the hill. And then I popped out just here, <laughs> near a main road. Hence why this is a pretty popular campground, because with the crappy weather and the um, rain, you can get here with a two-wheel drive, anything. There's a um, little Mazda 2 there, because we're nowhere near. I came through all the bush to get here, but you're actually not in the bush here. Um, but yeah, might be interesting, a bit of a rowdy night with the boys here when they get back, but I'll be asleep by probably 7.30 or 8 o'clock tonight. Frustrating stuff though, people come and bring a generator. And then they're trying to fan their Okay, just getting the trangia ready. Metho, add a teaspoon or so or less of water as well. That stops the soot. And add um, a pinch of salt and that allows you to see the flame. Otherwise the metho flame can be invisible and you can burn yourself, so it just makes it easier.
台，是我怎么了？怎么样？升级一条。Morning. Everything went well. Tarp, tent, everything went well. Just great. Just some condensation on the sleeping bag. Let that dry out. So make some brekkie and then hit the road home. So it wasn't too bad overnight. Probably got down as low as five, um, which is probably as low as I'd want to go with that sleeping bag unless I've got an extra reflector cover in it or whatever one of those things. I don't really want to upgrade sleeping bags if I don't have to. Um, nice bit of nature this morning. I'll show you kookaburra over here. Gorgeous morning, the sun's are starting to peak through. We're about 20 past eight now. Let's get a coffee going. <clears throat> then we'll make some chili eggs. And then we'll hit, pack up and hit the road. Bike's still here, so that's a good thing. Coffee's done, time to get the eggs going. Lots of nice butter. All these young kids over here. I think I'm too old to know what they're doing, but they keep chucking things on the fire and it just goes off like a massive boom. Not sure if it's soda bombs or just deodorant cans or something. But yeah, coming to these sort of camps, you get all sorts, I guess, compared to heading full bush. But with the weather, it was too wet to go off any of these tracks with my bike. If you're looking for little containers to take away eggs, these work really well. It's just got um, little plastic prongs in the top that are real soft that squash against the egg. Same in the bottom. Locks in real tight, like quite hard to undo. But you bring away a couple of nice eggs. So I've got you know, four or five of these dozen uh, pairs. So you can take away a few if you're going away with a few people. But it works really well. Scrambled chilli eggs it'll be. Let's give it some time on the old metho. And we'll be there. So three chilli egg wraps for brekkie. Beautiful. All right, so that's the trip all over. Just wash the bike. Good thing waterproof luggage. You can just wash everything while it's on there, clean all that up. Um, so successful trip. Got back in time for 70th birthday party we were hosting here at our house. So worked out good. Um, camping equipment worked well. The Rhino Wolf panniers worked really well. Um, they were cinched down nice and tight. They worked really good. Being able to strap them onto that new upgraded pannier at the back so they don't flop around worked really well. So I was really impressed with them because they had a bit of weight. I probably had 20 kilos all up, including the top boxing up here. I put a rock strap over the top of this just to make sure this doesn't wobble because there's no structure to it really. But it all worked very well. So we'll leave it here. Uh, if you like this video, feel free to hit the like and subscribe and to the next one. Cheers, guys.